What's up everyone and happy Saturday. In today's video, we're going to cover a $13 million trade that I saw in the market this week. We also have a couple bonus trades that I want to cover. We have a $1.2 million trade, a $2.1 million trade, a $4.5 million trade, and then a $13.6 million trade. I love analyzing unusual option deck and seeing what the smart money is doing. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. We actually have a lot of good plays, so make sure you stick around to the end, and we're going to get right into it. But if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. I post brand new videos every single day. But with the first play, we have BRKS. So I noticed this week we saw the smart money put around $1.2 million into this play. Uh, they bought around, uh, you could say, just under 4,000 puts on uh, August 17th uh, for the $77.50 puts that expire in September, uh, September 17th. Um, and, you know, if we take a look at BRKS, it has been downtrending a lot lately. The market's been kind of choppy. And if we look at like a max weekly chart of this thing, it looks like it has a lot of potential to fall. If we look back throughout history, we can see it has these huge run-ups like, like it did back in like 2000. And it just like, you know, tanks down. And, you know, it's not just 2000. I know that that was a crazy time for the markets. But, you know, you can see it has these wild swings, both to the upside and the downside. And it looks like we're in the beginning stages of one of those downside swings. So either way, it's a $1.2 million trade. Feel free to follow it if you want. Um, I'm definitely going to have it on my radar. I don't know if I'm going to follow it just yet, but it's definitely going to be on my watch list because it definitely has potential. So uh, like I said, it is the BRKS $77.50 puts for September 17th. With the next one, we have INDA, and this is a $2.1 million trade. Um, the smart money bought the 45 strike puts for January 21st of 2022 on August 19th. They bought like 10,000 of these puts, um, around, you could say, around $200 each. Um, and looking at INDA, I know that this ETF is rather volatile. Um, is it, it's basically an ETF that like follows like China stocks and stuff like that. And it did have a good day on Friday, but I know the market has been kind of uh, whack lately, to say the least. And I know that uh, statistically speaking, September is like one of the worst months, not only for the U.S. stock market, but you know just for stock markets around the world. So you know these smart money. Put plays can be in anticipation of that. I know there's also a lot going on with like the Fed tapering and then the Delta variant and all that stuff. So either way, it's an interesting trade. It's also going to be on my watch list. I like it and it's just going to be on my watch list. You know, it has a lot of time. It's a 45 strike puts. Basically, if you don't know what a put option is, they're betting this stock will fall down below 45 uh, by January 21st of 2022. So it's definitely an interesting one. And then with the next one, it's a little bit more complex. And this is with RCL, but I really, really like this setup. So RCL is continuously making higher lows. We can see at first we had a low uh, right around $54. Then the low was around 65. And then the low was around, you could say 70 or somewhere around there. Uh, you could say, yeah, like 70, 67, something like that. And then the next low was right around 70. And the next low was right around like 74, right? So it's continuously making higher lows. Um, it has a lot of potential to go back up. You know, it is in a risky sector, you know, uh, cruise lines. But so we are looking at a $4.5 million call trade with RCL. The smart money bought the 80 strike calls for October 15th for RCL, and they sold the 100 strike calls for October 15th for RCL. This is a call debit spread. There's around $4.5 million put into this play. They bought in on, let me pull it up. They bought in on August 19th, um, around, you could say, like $345. And then by Friday, it was already trading for like $445. So honestly, this is probably my favorite trade, you know, uh, so far with uh, all the uh, unusual options activity we've covered. Um, I think it looks pretty solid. I've been uh, liking RCL. Basically, they're making the bet that RCL will be around $100 or higher. Well, ideally $100 or higher by October 15th. Uh, if that's the case, you know, you could pick up this spread right now for around, uh, let's just say, let's just say for easy numbers, maybe it gaps up on Monday. 
you could pick it up for around 500 and if this spread expires for max profit um, it'll be worth around 2000 so that could be a $1,500 profit on a $500 investment if RCL closes above $100 by October 15th. So keep it in your mind, uh, 100 statistically speaking is pretty unlikely, but hey, you know, the smart money's getting in now. It looks like a good time. I like the play, you know, it is risky. So do your own research and, you know, make sure you like the play as well. Now with the last one, let's get right into the $13.6 million trade for HLT. Now this is kind of like RCL actually, you know, it's like this setup, like it's making higher lows. Um, it's, you know, historically speaking, it's been a pretty solid uptrend ever since it IPO'd. It's looking pretty good. It's kind of in the same industry as, I mean, I don't want to say same industry, but it's like, um, it's like a recovery play, you know, hotels, cruise lines, airlines, stuff like that. They kind of move together. So HLT, obviously they are a hotel stock. And if we look at the play, we are looking at the 120 strike calls for HLT for November 19th of 2021. The smart money put around, well, they got around 17,000 contracts. Uh, if we look intraday, they got them on August 20th and uh, they picked them up, you could say around $920 or so. Um, either way, you know, it's a big money trade. HLT doesn't look bad at all. They're in the money options, they have time. I like the setup. It's definitely be on the rate on my radar. I might follow this one depending on how it moves. Um, there's just a lot of variables in the market right now. Um, honestly, out of them all, I think that the RCL play is my favorite. I'm kind of biased towards it. I really like RCL. Um, you know, it's risky. It has its unique risk, but I like it. Um, you know, there's a lot going on in the market. You know, lots of volatility. We have that tapering news. So, you know, either way, make sure to do, make sure to do your own research on all these plays. And besides that, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. But I hope you have an amazing weekend.